the host of Jeopardy, Alex Prevet. Do the talking. I'm Mike Richards, the executive producer of Jeopardy. Over the weekend, we lost our beloved host, Alex Trebek. This is an enormous loss for our staff and crew, for his family, and for his millions of fans. He loved this show and everything it stood for. In fact, he taped his final episodes less than two weeks ago. He will forever be an inspiration for his constant desire to learn, his kindness, and for his love of his family. We will air his final 35 episodes as they were shot. That's what he wanted. On behalf of everyone here at Jeopardy, thank you for everything, Alex. This is Jeopardy. Never win.
I thank you, Jim Hackett, and hi, everybody. Welcome to Wipeout. To you folks at home, I hope you'll stay with us and play along. It's a, a great game. You'll have a lot of fun. I can tell you that our contestants are going to be happy to play because one of them will get a chance to drive off in a brand new convertible. Yeah. Not too shabby. Let's, uh, let's meet them right now. We have Dave with us who loves to water ski and play baseball, and you have uh, a couple of kids? Yes. Where do you live, Dave? Apple Valley, California. Uh, a lot of open spaces to uh, oh, yes. play around and have a good time. Yes. So you drove in here to, uh, to have two cars to drive back. Right. I need a convertible for the hot desert. I understand. I, yeah. I'm sure it's a telethon for Dave, folks. <laughs> uh, good luck, Dave. <laughs> Thank you. And Jim, I understand that you lived amongst other places in the West African jungle. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a reason for this, or were you just escaping from No something? reason. Just for fun. <laughs> I used to produce sports films and hunting uh -huh. films, so I had a chance to travel places like wow. that. It was great so you, fun. Do you have a big collection of these films? Two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> so you see a lovely young lass. It's not look at my etchings has come up and see my African films or something? Does that still <laughs> work? <laughs> we'll find out, Jim. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. And speaking of pretty girls, we have Michelle with us. And Michelle is from Ontario and a previous uh, uh, a beauty contest winner. No. A beauty consultant. <laughs> yes. You're a beauty. Is she not a beauty? <laughs> well, you're a very pretty girl, Michelle. Uh, you're married? Yes. Okay, what the heck. <laughs> it's all right. Don't bother me. Any event? Uh, how many children? One. One. Two-year-old Josh. Dude, mm -hmm. Josh is watching us, and he wants you to win. Right. You're going to play to he win. He wants a convertible. <laughs> Let's play the game. All right. Here we go. I'm going to show you a board upon which there are 16 answers, 11 correct, 5 wrong. Your job, find the 11 right ones. With the first correct answer, with $25, and then it's $50. Third correct answer is $75. And that last correct answer, that 11th, is worth $275. So there is some strategy involved in the game. A wipeout means uh, you lose your money and your turn. You don't want that to happen too often because only two of you go on to the challenge round. That third place player, we have to say goodbye to. So stay out of third place, gang. Dave, uh, you have first position, so you get first shot at the uh, board. You could pass if you want, but you must make at least one selection before you pass. Are we ready? ready. Let's look at the board. Before he began making presidential decisions, Ronald Reagan made lots of movies. See how many you can correctly name. Dave, give me one. It starts with $25 if you're right. Oh, gosh. Uh, how about Naughty But Nice? How about Naughty But Nice? Is that a Ronald Reagan film, Naughty But Nice? Yes. $25. Uh, you uh, have 10 answers left that are correct, Dave. I'm going to pass. All right. <laughs> Not a big fan of Ronald Reagan's movies, huh? No, I'm not really. Okay. He, uh, he'll uh, find out about that. Jim, better check your taxes, Dave. Jim, ten answers left that are correct. How about Bedtime for Bonzo? Bedtime for Bonzo. Was that a Ronald Reagan film? <laughs> of course it was. Fifty dollars. First place, nine correct. Jim, you want to keep going? Okay. Let's try Bonzo Goes to College. Let's try Bonzo Goes to College and find out if that's Ronald Reagan. Yeah. No, he did not go to college. So lose $50, and we go to Michelle. Uh, there are nine correct answers left, Michelle. It's worth $75 if you're right. Okay, let's try Hellcats of the Navy. Let's try Hellcats of the Navy. Yes, indeed. A big hit, all right? That's $75 first place, Michelle. Eight correct, left out of 12. Pass. I guess none of these are going to be put in a time capsule, but in any no. event, Dave, you have $25. You're in second place. There are eight correct left. Newt Rockney, All-American. Newt Rockney, All-American. Is that a Ronald Reagan film? Yeah. That brings you up to 125. First place, Dave, seven correct left. I'm going to play. Okay, give me an answer. This is the Army. This is the Army. Is that a Ronald Reagan film? Yes. <laughs> Moves you up. 250. There are six correct. Pass to Jim. All right, Jim, six correct, four wipeouts. This is worth 150 if you're correct. How about Dark Victory? How about Dark Victory? Is that a Ronald Reagan film? Yeah. Oh. No, it's a Ronald Reagan film, and you get some loot. You got the hot spot, and Jim, tell him what is on the hot spot today. My pleasure, Peter. The hot spot winner is going south to San Diego and the U.S. Grand Hotel. Turn to the century elegance in downtown San Diego. Luxurious rooms and fine dining for the discriminating traveler. From the U.S. Grand Hotel, it's worth over $1,100. All right. <laughs>
Big Jim, you got it. You got it. Now the trick is to hold on to it. It was behind a correct answer up there on the board. Should you wipe out during the course of this round, it'll go back up behind another correct answer on the board. Someone else may win it. And you have to be one of the two players to move on to that challenge round in order to keep it. You have $150. You're in second place. There are five correct answers left. You can play or pass. Pass. All right. Let's go to Michelle. There are still five correct. Michelle. All right. Let's try angels with dirty faces. Let's see angels with dirty faces. Uh, uh, not Ronald Reagan. Cost you $75. Moving over to Dave. Two fifty. First First place. Five correct left. The best years of our lives. The best years of our lives. Is that a Ronald Reagan film? Uh, no, it is not. You lost two fifty. We're back to Jim, who's got a hot spot, and $150, five correct, two wipeouts. Jim, give me an answer. Pretty Girl from Jones Beach. Girl from Jones Beach. Is that a Ronald Reagan film? Yep. That's uh, three and a quarter, and you're in first place. You're the only one with any money, Jim. Pass. Pass. Michelle, back to you, four correct, two wipeouts. Pretty good odds. $200 is the value of the answer if it's correct. Okay, let's try John Loves Mary. John Loves Mary. That's a beautiful title. Oh. So okay. touching. All right. I got a little moved by it. Give me a chance to recover. Okay. $200. You're in second place. There are three correct, two wipeouts left. What do you want to do? Correct, two wipeouts. I'll try another one. Try another one. Okay. Uh, how about A Tree Grows in Brooklyn? A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. Ronald Reagan? Does not, is not a great guy for planting trees. All right. <laughs> That means that you lost your money. We go to Dave. Three correct answers, one wipeout left. Dave, uh, the answer is worth 225 if you are right. If you wipe out, <laughs> it'll be in a different pickle. Give me the correct answer. Angels wash their faces. Do angels wash their faces? Let's find out if that's Ronald Reagan. It is. Dave, you're up to two and a quarter. You're in second place. There are two correct answers, one wipeout. The correct answer is with 250 if you're right, or you can pass to Jim. Yes. Jim, oh. you. Two correct, one wipeout. It's worth 250. Give me a correct answer. Love me or leave me. Love me or leave me. Let's find out. <laughs> Lurch, hotspot goes away. Game's over in respect to the fact that Dave is going to go to that challenge round. But we have a tie between Jim and Michelle, and you know what we do in a tie? We put up another board. This one has 12 answers on it, eight correct, four wipeouts. Obviously, you don't want any part of the wipeouts. What we're gonna do is alternate between Jim and Michelle until one of you wipes out. It's sudden death. Whoever wipes out is gone. That other player then moves on to the challenge round. I have a coin in my little hand. Jim will call it in the air to decide who goes first. Tails. Tails. Tails it is. Jim, you're up first. Let's take a gander at our board. All right, eight of these performers are listed in Playboy's Hall of Fame. I want you to name them. Jim, give me one. David Bowie. David Bowie, is that right? Yeah. Good one. Back to Michelle. I need another one from you, Michelle. Try George Harrison. George Harrison, Playboy Hall of Fame. You bet. Back to Jim. Six correct left. Diana Ross. Diana Ross in the Playboy Hall of Fame. No, she's not. I'm sorry. And that means Michelle and Dave, you're going on to the challenge round. Let's look at the other Playboy Hall of Famers. Uh, the Duke, of course, Bob Dylan, The Count, and Michael Jackson, as well as Linda Ronstadt and Ella Fitzgerald. Those are the Playboy Hall of Famers. And uh, let's see. We've got to have Michelle and Dave going challenge round. Jim, you're leaving us with some nice prizes. Uh, so I appreciate you being with us. And uh, we're going to see you guys in the challenge round. We come back. So stick with us. We're coming back. Now let's return to Wipeout. All right. We're back with the challenge round and our two challengers, Dave and Michelle. Dave, $225. Michelle, you don't have any money. But the fact that you look like that, you don't need any money, you know what I mean? <laughs> you made it here to the challenge round, and that's all that's important. Dave, we're going to keep your money very safe for you. 
You don't have to be huffy about it. Right, so tell, tell them what they're playing for in the challenge round, if you'd be so. I would be so kind, Peter. The second round winner will be off to Florida to stay at Saddlebrook. Enjoy two golf courses, 37 tennis courts, swimming, health spa, fine dining, and luxurious accommodations. Tampa Bay's great golf and tennis resort. We'll fly you and a companion from Los Angeles to Tampa aboard Delta Airlines' award-winning service. You'll also experience the exclusive Crown Room Lounge in the new Oasis Terminal, all from Delta Airlines. The retail value of this trip, Peter, is over $2,700. Oh, a little, a little trip to Tampa Bay, gang. Sounds pretty good. What you're going to look at is a board upon which there are 12 answers. Eight correct, four wipeouts. You don't want any part of the wipeouts, all right? We will pit the two of you against one another. The first player to win two boards wins that trip to Tampa Bay and on the way gets a stop and try for the bonus, which is the car, all right? And what we'll do first is go to Dave since he won the most money in round one. I'll ask Dave. How many he can get right without wiping out? Then I'll go to Michelle to see if she wants to increase the bid or call Dave on his bid. It will go back and forth until we either get to the number eight or until one of you calls the other. Now, once that player's called, he or she must give me all the answers they bid in a row correctly or the other player gets to jump in and only has to answer one and they can win. All right, are you ready? Ready. Let's look at the board. If you were to take a cruise on the Mediterranean Sea, you might visit eight of these countries. How many can you name without wiping out? These are on the coast of the Mediterranean. Dave, how many can you name without wiping out? There are eight. Correct. I'm going to say four. Four. All right, Michelle, the bid is four. You can increase it or call Dave on his four. Okay. I'm going to say five. Five. Back to you, Dave. You can call her or call you can, her. you're going to say five and she, she, you're going to call her on her five. Michelle, you need to do five in a row. If you can do it, you'll win the first board. If you slip up on the way, then Dave gets to jump in. All he needs is one right, and he'll win it. So be very careful, Michelle. Give me five. There are eight correct. Okay. Let's start with uh, Jordan. All right. Is Jordan on the coast of the Mediterranean? We <laughs> have a coast. Not an auspicious beginning, but we go to Dave. There are eight correct, Dave. All you need to do is give me one, and you'll win this board. It's that easy. Let's go with Morocco. Let's find out if Morocco is on the coast of the Mediterranean. Yes, it is. Whoa. All right, Dave, you got one. One to nothing is the score. And let us look at the other correct answers. Other countries on the Mediterranean and the coast. Italy, France, Libya, Turkey, Egypt, Spain, Tunisia, and that be it. <laughs> All right. So at this point, uh, we have uh, Michelle, who has now memorized every country on the coast of the Mediterranean. <laughs> and Dave won. That means you only need one game. We come back. Michelle, you will need two. And we will be back with the exciting conclusion of the challenge round. Stay with us. Take it away, Peter. All right, we're back with the score Dave won, Michelle nothing. Dave's like me, he has no pride. You don't care how you win, just who you win. That's right. <laughs> who cares? You want a, what a fun one this time? You bet. Okay, Michelle, you're up. Let's take a look at the board. Okay. All right, holy moly. See if you can tell us which of these fiendish people were dyed in the wool villains on Batman. How many can you get right, Michelle, without wiping out their eight correct? I'll say four. Four, okay, Dave, the bid is four. You want to increase it or call Michelle? Five. Michelle, it's five. Now do I hear a higher bid? Eight correct. I need a, I need a bid. Six? Yeah. Six, she says. All right, Dave, you can go higher or call Michelle on the six. I'm going to call her. Call her. Michelle, six in a row. You feel better about this one? We're going to... A little bit better. <laughs> yeah, a little bit better. <laughs> Give them all six to me in a row and you'll tie this game up. If not, Dave gets to jump in and if he wins it, then he's going to Tampa Bay and stopping by on the, for the car on the way. All right, okay. Michelle, let's have all six. Okay, the Joker. He's a Joker, a fiendish <laughs> Batman villain, yes. All right, five to go. Catwoman. Catwoman, a Batman villain, yes. Um, Four to go. The Penguin. The Penguin, another villain of Batman. Yep, you're on a roll. Three to go, halfway home. And the Riddler. The Riddler, let's check him out. Is that a villain on Batman? You bet. Two to go, Michelle. Try Egghead. Egghead, is that a, a villain on Batman? Yeah. Okay. Michelle, one. Just one, and you'll tie this game up. There are three correct up there. All I need is one from you, and we'll tie this up. Okay, try Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze, is that a villain on Batman? You bet it is. Nice going, Michelle. You tied it up. Let's look.
look at the other fiendish villains on Batman. We have King Tut and Lola Lasagna. I knew her. I think I dated her once. <laughs> it's a tie. It means we need another board to figure out who is going to go to Tampa Bay and uh, stop by on the way for the car. Are you ready for another board? Yes. This time, Dave, you're up. Let's take a look at it. All right. The National Register has listed the eight cities with the most historic places. See if you can pick them out from this list of 12. Dave, how many can you get right without wiping out? Most historic places. Five. Five. Michelle, going to increase it or call Dave on the five? Five. I'll say six. Six. Over to Dave. It's, it's six. Are you going to call her higher? I'm going to call her. Call her. Michelle? Your magic number, six again. Give them to me this time all in a row, and you'll be off to Tampa Bay. Here we go, Michelle, all six. I'll say Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. Let's find out about historic places. You bet. Five to go, Michelle. Uh, I'll try Philadelphia. Let's see if it's got historical places worth some. Yes, 94 of them. Four to go. Okay. Let's try Boston. Boston. Let's find out about Boston. 62 places historical. Three to go, Michelle. All right. How about Los Angeles? Los Angeles. Let's find out about Los Angeles. Oh, no. Only 17. All right. Dave, this is your shot. You give me one correct answer, you'll win the board, and you'll win the trip to Tampa Bay. There are five correct. Give me one. Baltimore. Baltimore. Let's find out if that is historical, loaded with historical places. Yes, it is. 53 of them, Dave. You did it. Two, two to one. Whoa. I'll tell you, that was close. Let's, uh, let's look at the other correct answers. Cincinnati has 44, Providence 47, Richmond has 60, and New York has 111. And that means, Michelle, we're le you're leaving us with some nice prizes. We appreciate you being with us. You lightened up our show. We okay. really thank you. <laughs> and David, Tampa Bay is where you're going for the trip. Right. And uh, come on over here. We're talking a new car. Right. Thank you. We'll be back and uh, talk more about the new car after these words. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, to wipe out. All right, we're back with Dave. He's made it to the bonus round with over $2,900 worth of goodies. And we got one more thing to show you. Check this out. Peter, it's the new Chrysler LeBaron Highline Convertible. Featuring power top and power windows and the new standard safety bag for the driver. Available in nine colors with coordinated interior vinyl from Barish Chrysler Plymouth. Oh, all right. Dave wants that car. Here's how you're going to get it. We're going to give you a question, put up 12 answers on the board. Six will be right, six wrong. Find the six right ones, that car is yours. Let me show you how. I'll give myself a category of English rulers and 12 answers. I'm going to want to pick the six I think are correct. I do that by touching the rims around the six screens I think are correct. One, two, three, four, five, six. I cannot do seven. So I come back over here as fast as I can, hit the red button, find out I got two right. That means I'm going to want to make some changes. In order to make those changes, I have to turn something off before I can decide on something else. So I'm going to turn Duke Wayne off, and I'm going to go up and touch old Giorgio and see if that makes a difference. Hit the old buzzer, and it's three. See? So it does make a difference. And you want to continue to do that until you get all six correct. But for you, we are going to give you your own category. Uh, yeah, I know. You'd want it that way. And 60 seconds within which to do it. OK? Are you ready? Let's look at your answers. All right, let's see how much you know about animals. <laughs> six of these words relate to our friends in the animal kingdom. We want to know which six. You have 60 seconds. Are you ready? Ready. Good luck. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. <laughs> Whoa! Unbelievable! Six! Wham! Bam! How, uh, how did you? <laughs> did you know them right off, or did you just? Uh, how did sure, I knew them all. Sure. <laughs> I knew them all. Sure. Well, we'll be back after we recover. Right after this. <laughs> with 
date, and some woman who just came up and proposed to him. Who is it, who is it Dave? It's my wife, Sherry. Sherry, congratulations Hi. to you. You did it in 13 seconds. You're leaving us with over $17,000. And why don't you step in here, because I got a feeling she's up here in order to find out who's going to keep the car. Uh, they're going to drive off. We'll see you next time on Wipeout. Until then, Peter Tamargan, bye-bye. Today, a member of our studio audience will receive Gibson's Gas Range with self-cleaning oven. Features a pilotless fuel saver electric ignition system, black glass oven door, and lift off top for easy cleaning from Gibson. If you would like to see Wipeout in person, plan to attend a taping session here at Paramount Studios in Hollywood by calling for ticket information through Paramount Promotional Services, area code 213-468-5575 weekdays. Some of our departing contestants will receive Dinty Moore Beef Stew, no preservatives, and only 240 calories per 8-ounce serving, a family favorite. And life's a picnic when you're munching on picnic bite-sized russet potato chips and picnic shoestring potatoes, all natural, always fresh, in the picnic canister. And Aurifix special denture adhesive. Worried about loose dentures? Aurifix holds them tight, day and night. Aurifix them, that'll fix them. Today at noon, the Eyewitness News team gives you Southern Nevada's first in-depth look at the day's news. Coming up, it's fun and fast. It's The Price is Right, next on Channel 8. This is Jim Hackett speaking for Wipeout. I'm out studios in Hollywood. It's television's most exciting new game, Wipeout. Wipeout. And here to pit their knowledge and strategy against the Wipeout are Gene Martin, Dave DeMike, Jill Smith, and the one who fares the best could drive off in this new car. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's your host, the star of Wipeout, Peter Tomarkin. Oh, oh, you're too kind. Oh, you're ever so kind. Thank you, Bob Ridgely. Hi, everybody. Welcome once again to Wipeout. We're going to have a lot of fun today. I hope you'll stay with us and to play along with uh, our contestants. I know that each one of them wants to drive off in a brand new car, but only one of them will get that opportunity. And uh, let's meet them right now and get to know a little bit about them. We have Jean with us, who is a returnee from uh, yesterday. Yes. Jean already has over $2,200 in cash and prizes. Wow. And you want that Jeep. I want that Jeep. Do it. Like you? this, like today, right uh, now. Like now. <laughs> right. Well, you sound like one of your students, your teacher. Yeah, how about that? Yes. I want it now. <laughs> I want it now. I don't blame you. Well, good luck today. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And Dave is with us. Dave, you are married with a couple of children. Sure am. Right? Derek and Chaz. What, the names are Derek, Derek and, and Chaz. Chaz, and they are watching? Um, I hope so. Well, I hope so, too. I hope you do well for them. Thank you. Okay. And we have Jill with us, who loves to tan. Yeah, well, I'm not tan now. So you're looking for a hot spot? I'm looking for a hot spot. <laughs> In the tanning booth. In the tanning booth. Or right we'll up talk there. later, Jill. All right. <laughs> You want to play the game? You want to get going yeah, and play this game? Right let's look at the famous board. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this famous board. There it is. 16 answers on that board. 11 are correct. 5 are incorrect. Your job, gang, find the 11 correct answers with the first one worth $25. And they go to $50, $75 until that final 11th correct answer is worth $275. And that spells strategy, so be aware of that, okay? And when you're wrong, we are going to wipe you out. That means you lose your money and your turn. And you don't want that to happen too often because only two of you will make it to the challenge round. That third place player will go off into a tanning booth, well, wherever, someplace by themselves, and lament, all right? Uh, we have Jean, who has first selection because you drew it, and you can uh, pass if you want, but you must make at least one selection before you pass. And as always, we will play until all the right or all the wrong answers have been revealed. Do you want to know the question? I'm Not going to give it to sure. you. <laughs> we all know what happened in 1776, but now we want to know which of these events happened before 1776. Jean, there are 11 up there. Give me one. I will give you one. A Whitney's Cotton Gin. Whitney's Cotton Gin happened before 1776? Yeah. 93 did not. All right, Dave, to you. 11 correct, four wipeouts. Well, let's start off with the Boston Tea Party. Boston Tea Party happened before 1776? Yeah, 1773. Dave, you want to roll 25 big ones? 10 correct. Let's go ahead and play on, uh, let's take the first submarine built. First submarine built before 1776, way back in 1620, Dave. Uh, our producer, Bill Mitchell, was on it. That's $75. Nine correct left out of 13. 
Um, well, let's go ahead and I'm going to try the Renaissance. The Renaissance before 1776? I'd say 15, 16th century, and it's hot spot time, which means you want a little goodie for that. And Bob, tell him what the hot spot is today. It's a desert delight from today's hot spot winner at the Sheraton Tucson El Conquistador Golf and Tennis Resort. This award-winning four-star hotel is a desert oasis at the foot of the scenic Santa Catalina Mountains. Well, you and a companion will fly Southwest Airlines to Arizona, experience the convenient flight and friendly service from Southwest Airlines, worth over $1,200. Nice hot spot. I saw Jill reaching for it because it was Tucson. You can get a tan there. That's right. All right, Dave, you've got it for now. You've got to hold on to it. Should you wipe out during the round, it goes back up on the board behind another correct answer for Jill to get her little mitts on or jean. And you have to be one of the two players to go to the challenge round to keep it. All right, you have 150, and there are eight correct answers left out of 12. What's your pleasure? Well, I think I'm going to try a couple more here. I All think right. Harvard College founded. Harvard College founded before 1776? Yes, way back in 1636. Oldest college in the nation. $250. Seven correct left out of 11, Dave. Well, I'm going to try one more. I'm going to go with the Black Plague. The Black Nothing. Plague. Isn't that fun to go with? Let's find out if that happened before 1770. Yes, it did, and it's coming back, I hear. 14th and 15th century. That must have been fun. 375. Uh, there are six correct answers left out of 10, Dave. I think I'll pass it to Jill. Jill, over Thanks, to you. Dave. Uh, what a guy. Six left yeah. out of 10, Jill. Give me one. Hey, I'm just guesstimating here for Napoleon Born. Napoleon Born, before 1776? Yeah, yeah. close. 1769. I'm passing, Peter. I'm passing. You get one and you're out of here. All uh, right, yeah. Jill passes to Jean. There are five correct left out of nine. Jean, give me one. Charles Darwin Born. Was he born before 1776? 1809, Gene. We're back to Dave, who's got the hot spot. Uh, Dave, there are five correct answers left out of eight. Give me one. I'll take Pilgrims Reach Plymouth Rock. Did the Pilgrims reach Plymouth Rock before 1776? I hope so. 1620 indeed. And Dave, you're up to 550. I'll go ahead and, and pass it to Jill. Four correct left out of seven. Over to Jill. Four hey, correct, Peter? Jill. I'm going to go for Henry VIII, Weds, and what is that, Boleyn? Anne Boleyn. He may have married Anne Boleyn, too, but I don't know hey, it. Yeah. Anne Boleyn, yes. He married her, and then he lopped her head off. In any event, you're up to $350. I'm passing, Peter. You're passing again. Jill, we're over to Jean. Ooh. Three correct out of three, out, three, of, out of six, 50-50 uh, shot. Let's try a Franklin Lightning Experiment. Why That's not? Wrong. Franklin That's Lightning wrong. Experiment That's before wrong. 1776. You got it. 1749 to 1752. That's a long time to hold a kite. In any event, 225, you're in third place, and there are two correct answers left out of five. What do you want to do? Pass. Pass. Dave, to oh. you. To you, there are two left that are correct, three that are not. Pick one. Well, I'm going to take Hamlet Premieres. Hamlet premieres before 1776. Yeah, way back there in about 1600. Dave, you're up to $800. There, there's one correct answer left out of four. Jill, Jill please. to you, $350. You are in second place. One correct. If you get it, you'll be going on to the challenge round. If not, we'll keep playing. Oh, gosh. Help me out here, Peter. I think, um... <clears throat> well, in a commercial break, we'll talk. Let's go but... for, um... Let's just go for Lucky Seven Years War. The Lucky the Seven Years War? What the heck? Seven Years War happened before 1776 and you did it. It did happen in 1756 and you got it. Jean, 225 Dave, $800, and Jill, 625 yeah. That means Dave and Jill, you're going to the yeah. challenge round. Congratulations. <laughs> and Jean, you're leaving us with $2,276. Yeah, I can't yeah, figure yeah. out why anyone... Why didn't you pick the War of 1812? It happened before 1776. <laughs> we tried to trick you, but we couldn't. We're coming back with a challenge round after these words. Stay with us. And now an important announcement about the new 1988 Christmas catalog from J.C. Penney. And now, back to Wipe Out with Peter. All right, we're back with Dave and Jill. That sounds like a little act. Maybe you guys can go on the road, little singing, dancing team. What do you think? Dave, see, Jill, she's easy. Dave's got $800. Jill has $625. And uh, Dave also has the hot spot. Jill would like that hot spot, but she doesn't have it. She has $625. we are going to put that money away, so it's all yours nice and safe. And Big Robert is going to tell you what you're going to go in for in the challenge round. Bob. The challenge round winner and her companion will fly off to Mexico and the Fiesta Americana Puerto Vallarta, overlooking Bandadas Bay, deluxe accommodations, water sports, and continental or traditional cuisine from Fiesta Americana Puerto Vallarta. Total value over $1,400. All right, 
Don't you just love the way he says Puerto? Say Puerto Vallarta again for me, please, Bob. Puerto Vallarta. Oh, give me a silver bullet. I swear it makes me crazy. In any event, Puerto Vallarta is what you're going for. And what we're going to do is put up a screen with 12 answers on it. Eight will be correct. Four will be incorrect. You don't want any part of those wipeouts. They're very bad. What we're going to do is we're going to go to Jill first because... No, actually, Dave. I just want to see if you're awake. Dave first because he won the most money in round one. I'll ask Dave how many he can get right on our board without wiping out. I'll then go to Jill, ask her if she wants to increase the bid or to challenge Dave on his. And we'll go back and forth until we get to the maximum number of eight bids or until one of you challenges the other. And once that player's challenged, he or she must give me all the answers in a row that they bid correctly. If not, the other player jumps in with only one correct answer, and they can win it. Uh, everybody got that? All right. Dave, you're up. Let's take a look at our board. All right. Eight of these millionaires are correctly matched with the business they first made their fortunes in. How many can you name without wiping out? However, the most disconcerting about this is that there's obviously nobody that made a dime in game show hosting. All right. Dave, how many can you get right without wiping out? Well, I think I can get five of them, Jill. How about you? Kind of a seductive bid, Dave. But in any event, Jill, what do you think? You want to uh, increase that bid or challenge Dave on it? I'm going to go for six. Go Just... for six, not playing around. All right, back yeah. to you, Dave. Six mm -hmm. is the bid. Uh, what do you think? Jill's a bluffing or you think she knows? I, 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 think, she, I think I'm going to challenge her. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, six. Let's see if Jill knows her millionaires and where they made their money. Six in a row. There are eight up there that are correct. If you give me the six in a row, you'll win the first board, Jill. If you slip up on the way, Dave gets to slide in there and only has to answer one to win that board. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Give me the six. Give me the Hearst Publishing. You'd like that. Hearst Publishing. Let's find out. That's where he made his big bucks. Okay, Jill. Five Getty to go. oil. And Getty made it in oil. We're going to find out. Yeah. Four to go. Give me that Vanderbilt textile. <laughs> Give me that Vanderbilt textiles. That's fine. <laughs> Ow. You, she admits. She admits she was bluffing. Vanderbilt was railroad and shipping. But Dave, we go to you now. There are four correct, actually six correct answers up there. All you have to do is give me one out of the six, and you will steal that board from Jill. She may slap you for it, but hey, this is a game. This is the way we play it. Okay. Um, I think Mr. Rockefeller made a lot of money in oil. Let's find out if Rockefeller made it in oil. Yes, he did. And Dave, you got the first board. Congratulations. All right. Millionaires. Let's look at the other correct millionaires and where they made their bucks. Harriman made it in the railroad. DuPont made it munitions, J.P. Morgan in finance, and Astor made it in fur and land, and Carnegie made it in steel. Those are all the millionaires, and uh, so far, Dave, you're on your way. You have one game. Jill, when we come back, you will need two in order to win the challenge round. Dave will only need one, and the excitement is building here, mounting to a crescendo, so please return after these words. Thank you. to wipe out with Peter. All right, we have a score of Dave one, Jill nothing. Jill was punished because she bluffed. <laughs> That's the game. That's the game, you're right. Let's see how you do with this one. Jill, you're up, let's take a look at the board. All right, here's a board for you film buffs. Eight of these people are to be found on a film crew. I'd like to find one of them on ours. <laughs> how many of them do you recognize? Jill, how many can you get right without wiping out? I can five it. Five it? Yeah. Five. Over to you, Dave. Uh, you think you can increase that bid, or are you uh, going to challenge? I, yeah, I uh, think I can pick out six of those. Six. All right, back to Jill. The bid is six, Jill. What do you think about Dave? You think he's uh, bluffing, or is he... Uh... I'm counting, Peter. Yeah? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Let me know when you're through. <laughs> Gee, um, you know, I don't know if I should challenge, but yeah. what the heck? What the heck? Six what, to Dave? you, big Dave. Six in a row, and you'll win the board, and you'll be on your way to Puerto de Vallarta, the way that Bob says it. Well, I believe that a key grip is a member of a film crew. Key grip. I wish we had one. Let's find out. Yes, he is. That's uh, one down, five to go. There's also a best boy. A best boy. Let's find out about that. Yes, indeed. It's the system of the apprentice, and that gives you four to go. Well, let's go with an editor. Let's go with an editor. And he edits, incredibly enough, and that takes you down to three to go. And a boom man. A boom man. Let's find out. It's a loud guy. No, he operates the microphone of the boom. And now we have two to go. A uh, gaffer. A gaffer. Let's find out about a gaffer. Chief electrician. We have one more to go, and if you get it right, Dave, you'll win the board. You will win the trip to Puerto Vallarta, and you'll get a chance at the Jeep that's sitting back there, yeah. just waiting for you to get your little hands on it. And then we'll have to say goodbye to Jill. And Jill, to be honest with you, Dave, 
She's a lot more fun than you are. Hey, I don't Dave? mean to do this to you, Dave, yes, but I have to speak of the truth. You know what I mean? I can't help so, it. <laughs> I can't. You're cute, but there are limits. Okay, Dave. One left. Give me the answer. I'm going to hope a prop man is. Boy, let's find out about a prop man. Yeah, he handles the props. You got it. All right. All right, Dave, you won. And let's take a look at the other correct answers. A cable man. Huh. A grip. And those are the other two. I'll tell you what we have on our show. We have a limbo. We have the guy you're looking at over there is a blooper. And we have the rest of them we just call brutes. That's how they call me. That's our kinds of guys. But after all, this is television. It's not film. In any event, Dave, you've won it. You're going on. And Jill, you left us with $625. And a lot of, you've been a lot of fun. You're a fun lady. Call me back. <laughs> That's right. Give me a number. We'll call you up. All right, Dave, come on over here. We're talking Puerto Vallarta first. Yeah. We're talking about a new car when we come back after this. Wave goodbye to Jill. Bye, Jilly. <laughs> 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 And now, here's Wipeout again with Peter Tabarkin. All right, we're back with Dave. And Dave, you've got yourself cash in round one. You've got a trip. You've got a total of about $3,400. And you have probably the ugliest suit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Dave, oh, oh, let me, let me, now Dave even said this to me. Dave, who did this to you? Who did this to me? My who wife. <laughs> you can blame her. Was she, up, was she mad at you this morning? Because <laughs> you got, this is part of a suit. Yes, this is... And this is... This but I like the shoes. Let's hear it for the, for the shoes. shoes, yeah. We're talking Major League here. Very hot. All right. In the meantime, now that we've made fun of you, you're going to take our car away from us, aren't you? Let's take a look at what you can drive off in right here. It's a new Jeep Wrangler four-wheel drive. A fun on- and off-road vehicle that seats four comfortably. An ideal for the beach on snowy mountain roads or around town. All right. I love that. It's fun on and off the road like it's fun, you know, in the ocean. How can it be that's ridiculous? Well, it's fun at the beach. Fun at, fun at the beach. But we'll find places you can go anywhere with that car. And would you like to drive that car away? And... Yes, I would. Mm -hmm. You probably would. Yes. Uh... Ask your wife not to do anything with the interior, though, would you? <laughs> okay. All right. Insult the contestant's wife. Nice way to start. <laughs> In any event, I'm going to show you how easy this is. We're going to give you a question and put up 12 answers on the board. Six are going to be correct. Six will be incorrect. Your job, find the six correct answers, and you're driving away. And on the way, you probably want to drive right over my face. It is okay, provided you win the car, all right? I'm going to do a little demonstration for you in order to show you how it is done by an expert. Famous Dwarfs is mine, and there are 12 answers up there. So what I'm going to want to do is go over there and pick the six that I think are correct. And I do that by touching the rim around each of the screens I think is correct. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, which, <laughs> and I can't do seven. This is, that's our crew. So I come over here, and I hit the old red button, and we find out that I got two correct. Now, I'm going to want to make some changes. In order to do that, I have to turn something off before I can turn something else on, before I can make a new selection. So I have to turn fatty off before I can select sassy. I have to turn sleazy off, but I'm not going to because I think sleazy is accurate. So I'm going to go over here to Irving. Can't fool me. And I'm going to go to Grumpy. And that's going to find out now how well I did. And... Did I improve myself? Sure, I did. I went to four. I could have done six, but I would have embarrassed you, and I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to dump this board because it's much too difficult, and we're going to give you your own, your own little board. We're going to give you 60 seconds within which to do it. We have great confidence in you because this car's been here too long. We want it, it out of here, you know? Okay. Are you ready? Let's take a look at your board. The 1988 Summer Olympics may be fresh in our minds, but six of these countries were the top medal-winning countries in the 1984 Summer Olympics. Find them for us. Are you ready, Dave? You have 60 sure seconds. Am. Good luck and go.
gotten you all wired up when oh, I got there. I, got to, I should insult you more. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Well done. The United States, Great Britain, Italy, Romania, West Germany, and Canada. We didn't fool you with Soviet Union or East German because they weren't even there. And we're coming back after these words to do a little wrap-up, so come back with us. Woo! Nice going. Right. Sure. If you'd like to see Wipeout in person, plan to attend a taping session here at Paramount Studios in Hollywood by calling for ticket information through Paramount Promotional Services. Area code 213-468-5575 weekdays. Again, Mr. Wipeout himself, Peter Tamarkin. Good, you take insults well. We had a lot of fun with you today, but you got the last lap, but you're taking our car and driving off. In addition, you got $800 in round one, you got the hotspot worth $1,206, and the Puerto Vallarta trip, and with the uh, Jeep totals $13,838. Once again, congratulations, and uh, our best to your wife and uh, anybody else who may have insulted on the way to being here, but we had a great time. I hope you did, too. And uh, let us know uh, how things go with the Jeep. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this. Why don't you hop in here and uh, check, check this little baby out. I'll put my head under the wheel so you can run over it. And uh, <laughs> we will be back. In spite of this craziness, we are coming back for more shows. So uh, you folks stay tuned. We'll be back, and I hope you will too. Until next time, for Wipeout, this is Peter Tamarkin saying thanks for being with us. Bye-bye. I'll just lay down. Some member of our studio audience may receive Frigidaire's finest 18 cubic foot frost proof refrigerator freezer with textured steel doors for no fingerprints and fully adjustable tinted glass shelves from Frigidaire Appliances. Some of our departing contestants will receive Q-tips. There's no softer, safer swab for your family because the swab by any other name just isn't the same. And Cremet premium quality in the famous green box. Doesn't your recipe deserve Cremet? Try some tonight. And now Lee has made the French manicure easy and affordable with Lee Press on Nails. The French manicure and Fem Iron Iron Supplement, an easy, effective way for a woman to give her body all the iron it needs. Fem Iron from Beecham, used as directed, and Lee Salon Length Sculptured Nails, professional and permanent like salon nails you can do at home. Lee Sculptured Nails and the new Epa Lady Ultra Three Speed Cordless, the revolutionary way to remove hair for weeks longer. For an early look at today's news, sports, and weather, join Eyewitness News at noon. Stay tuned now for excitement and big prizes on The Price is Right, next on Channel 8. From Paramount Studios in Hollywood, it's television's most exciting new game, Wipeout! And here to fit their knowledge and strategy against the Wipeout are Mark Fetterman, Elliot Wolf, and Deborah Curry. And the one who fares the best to drive off in this LeBaron convertible. And now, here's your host, the star of Wipeout, Peter Tamarkin! Thank you. Thank you. Hi, thank you, Jim Haggett. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Wipeout once again. I want to welcome all you folks at home. And as far as our three contestants are concerned, well, one of them will get a chance to drive off in that brand new convertible. Let's meet them right now first, though, okay? Go over here and meet Mark. And Mark, I understand you are a collector, is that right? Yeah, I have a... What do you collect? Snowballs. Those very tacky souvenirs <laughs> from all over the world. Yeah. How many do you have? About 350. That's a lot. You looking yeah. for more? All the time. Okay, folks, you know where to send them. Send them to Mark at P.O. Box. <laughs> no, you get about a million. Thanks. Well, good luck to you today. Some. All right. And uh, Elliot, uh, you are a grandfather, I understand. Oh, yes, very much so. And every, every grandfather wants to talk about the grandchildren, right? Well, I've got four wonderful grandsons. Uh huh. How, ages uh, two, starting with Daniel, going to Robert and Aaron, who are both six. Right. And my oldest one, who is nine, 
by the name of Brian. So they all got a plug. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're all watching. <laughs> Thank you very much, okay, Peter. Okay, Elliot. Pleasure. And Deborah is with us. And Deborah is a federal agent. A former federal agent. What, what did you do? I worked for a, a branch of the Defense Department, the Defense Investigative Service. We did security investigations. Ah, uh, you're probably here to find Bill Mitchell, our producer. How did you know? That Where was he a left? Bill, there you go. Well, see, you. see you next time, Bill. Nice guy. In any event, good luck to you, Deborah. Thank you. Okay, let's play a game. Okay. Let's do it. All right. I'm going to show you a board. It'll have 16 answers on it. 11 will be correct, 5 will be wrong. Your job, find the 11 correct answers with the first one worth $25, second correct answer $50, then $75, etc., until the final correct answer is worth $275. There's a lot of strategy involved in playing the game with respect to money. And uh, we're going to also have a hot spot up there for you to take a look at. And uh, Jim, tell the folks what the hot spot is today. Yes, sir. This hot spot winner will be heading to everyone's favorite relaxing spot, San Diego where they'll stay at the U.S. Grand Hotel, turn-of-the-century elegance in downtown San Diego, luxurious rooms for the discriminating traveler from the U.S. Grand Hotel. The retail value of this trip, Peter, is over $1,100. All right, a great trip. All right, gang, one thing you don't want to do, you do not want to wipe out because that means you lose your money as well as your turn, and that's bad news because only two of you will go on to the challenge round. The third player won't, so stay out of third place. Best of luck. Uh, are we all ready? Let's take a look at the board. Good old Elvis may be gone from us, but his hits live on. Tell me, which of these are titles of Elvis Presley's records? Which of these are titles of Elvis Presley's records? Mark, there are 11 correct answers. Give me one to start. Well, I'll take blue suede shoes. All right, blue suede shoes. Let's find out. There's one. $25, good start, 10 correct. You want to keep going? All right. Don't be cruel. All right, I'll try not to be. Let's find out. Ooh, that's number two. You're up to $75. There are nine correct. You gonna keep going? Yeah. All right. All shook up. All shook up. Let's find out. Yes, indeed. You're up to $150. Eight correct. Left out of 13. Play or pass? Pass. Elliot? The <laughs> audience thinks there's a lot of obvious ones up there. There's eight out of 13 up there that are correct. Give me one. It's worth $100 if you're right. Treat me rough. Well, first let's, oh, oh, let's treat me rough. Let's find out. <laughs> we treated you rough and it wasn't fair. A wipe out and let's go to Deborah. We're not gonna treat you rough, Deborah. Trust me on it. Uh, eight correct uh, up there out of 12. It's worth $100 if you're right. Okay, how about don't cry daddy? All right, let's try not to. Let's find out if that is Elvis. Yes. You got yourself $100 on that. Second place, seven correct answers left out of 11. Okay, I'll play. Uh, I believe Don't is one of his hits. All right, let's find out. Don't. Yes, we did. And you did. Get yourself to first place. 225, 75 ahead of Mark. Six correct answers left out of 10. The next correct one's worth 150. I think I'll pass. You're going to pass. Back to Mark. All right, Mark, six, six left out of 10 that are right. It's worth 150 if you are correct. How about... How about Rockahula Baby? Rockahula Baby. Let's find out about Rockahula Baby. Yes. All right. Not even have to ask you, right? Mark three hundred dollars first place. Elliot, there are five left up there out of nine possible. It's worth one hundred and seventy-five if you're correct. Give me a correct answer. Gotta love you. All right. Gotta love you. Is that Elvis? Oh, that's a wipeout. We go to Deborah. Five correct left out of eight. It's worth one hundred and seventy-five if you get it. Deborah. Well, will you treat me nice? <laughs> <laughs> yes. We'll find out if we are treating you nice. And we'll treat you nice. See how nice we are? We gave you some money. $400 first place by $100. Four correct left out of seven. Lay on or pass. Uh, I'm going to pass. Pass over to Mark. Mark, four left out of seven. It's worth 200 if you're right. Give me one. Uh, crying in the chapel. Crying in the chapel. Oh! You don't have to cry in the chapel. <laughs> You've got that hot spot to San Diego for now, plus the money. And uh, that gives you $500. Remember, uh, if you should wipe out during, the, during this round, that uh, hot spot trip will go back up on the board behind the correct answer. Also, you have to be one of the two players to move to the challenge round to keep it. You have $500. You're in first place. There are three correct answers left out of six. 50-50 shot. Play or pass? <laughs> uh. 
Pass. Pass. Elliot, three out of three. It's worth $225 if you're right. Give me a correct answer. I've got to go with the Blues King, Steamroller Blues. Steamroller Blues. Is that Elvis? Yes, it is. You're back in, Elliot. Got yourself $225. You're in third place. There are two correct answers out of five. $250 is the value of the next answer. You are in third place. I've got to go follow that star. Follow that star. Let's follow that star and see where it leads us. Oh. Wipeout, Elliot. I'm sorry. To zero. Deborah, to you, $400. There are two correct answers, two wipeouts. Be careful. It's worth $250 if you're right. Okay. I think Blue Christmas. I'll go. Blue Christmas. Let's find out. Blue Christmas? Yes, it is. Deborah? You are now the sole possessor of first place with $650. Mark has $500. Elliot has nothing. There are $275 left in that one last correct answer. Pass. You're going to pass it to Mark. Mark, you got to take it. You got to give me the right answer, or you're going to be in serious trouble here. Goody, goody. Goody, goody. Is that your answer? I'll go with that. Goody, goody. Is that Elvis? Got to take the hot spot away, and now, now it's up behind the one correct answer that's on the board. Elliot, here's the situation. There's one answer up there that's correct. It's worth $275, and it has the hot spot behind it. If you can pick it, you will be one of the two players to move on to the challenge round. Are you ready? Give me the right. right answer. Blue velvet. Let's see if it's blue velvet. That means that, Deborah, you are definitely going on to the challenge round, but we have a tie between Mark and Elliot, so we have to find out which of the two of you is going to accompany the lovely Miss Deborah to the challenge round. The way we do that is to put up a board with 12 answers on it, eight of which are correct, four will be wipeouts. We will then alternate between the two of you. Whoever wipes out first will lose. All right, the other player will then go on to the challenge round. I will flip a coin to decide who goes first. Mark, I want you to call it in the air. Heads. Heads it is. Mark, you will go first, and let's take a look at the tiebreaker board. Which of these fictional characters appear with their correct first names? Which appear with their correct first names? Mark, you are first. Give me a correct answer. The Great Gatsby J. Great Gatsby J. Is that right? Yes, it is. Over to Elliot. Give me a correct answer. There's seven left. Captain Steubing, Merrill. Captain Steubing and Merrill, is that correct? Yes, it is. Back to Mark. Six correct. Beaver Cleaver, Theodore. Beaver Cleaver and Theodore, is that right? Yes, it is. Back to Elliot. Mr. Roberts Doug. Mr. Roberts Doug, is that correct? You bet it is. Back to Mark. Getting tough. Scrooge. Ebenezer. Scrooge Ebenezer, is that correct? Yes, it is. Back to Elliot. Freedom Bovary. Madam Bovary and Emma, let's see if that's correct. Yes, it is. There are only two correct left, Mark. Give me one. Mr. French, Sebastian. Mr. French, Sebastian, is that right? Oh, I'm sorry. And Elliot, you got it. You're going on to the challenge round with Deborah with $650. And let's take a look at the other correct answers. Uh, actually, Citizen Kane. And Mr. Magoo Quincy and Citizen Kane Charles, those were the other correct answers. Wow, what a battle that was. And uh, Elliot and Deborah will see you in the challenge on Mark. You're leaving us with some nice prizes. Thanks for being with us, all right? We'll be back right after the break. Excitement on Wipeout and Peter Tamarkin. All right, here we are at the challenge round with Elliot and Deborah. Elliot, you don't have any money, but you made it, and that's all that counts. And Deborah, you have $650, so we're going to keep that real safe for you. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> Big Jim's vault. Hey, Big Jim, tell them what they're playing for in this round, will you? My pleasure, Peter. The second round winner and a companion will be flying to the high country in Colorado. And no place else will you find spectacular Durango. Staying at the Jarvis Suite Hotel, you'll thrill to downhill skiing on Colorado's renowned powder. Then snuggle up for a cozy sleigh ride through glorious Colorado scenery. The retail value of this trip, Peter, is over $2,600. Oh, nice trip. All right. 
What we're going to do is show you a board with 12 answers on it. Eight will be right, four will be incorrect, okay? What we're going to do is pit the two of you against one another. The first player to get two boards wins the game, wins the round, gets the trip, and goes on to the bonus round. And what happens, the way it works, is because Deborah won the most money in round one, I'll ask her first how many she can get right on the board without wiping out. I'll then go to Elliot, who will tell me whether he wants to increase the bid or call Deborah on it. We'll go back and forth until we get to the uh, total number of eight or until one of you calls the other. Now, once that player's called, he or she must give me all the answers correctly that he or she bid. If not, the other player jumps in. One correct answer wins the board. Are you ready? Let's take a look at the board. You're up first, Deborah. How many of the coastal cities on this board can you pick out? How many in the coastal cities on this board can you pick out? Deborah, how many can you get without wiping out? There are eight correct. I'll say four. Four. All right. Over to you, Elliot. You want to increase the bid or call her on four? I'll go five. Five. Back to Deborah. You want to increase it? I believe I'll challenge him on Challenge five. him? All right. That means Elliot has to give me five in a row. If you get them all, you'll win the board, Elliot. If not, Deborah gets to jump in. All right, Elliot, give them to me. There are eight correct. All you need is five. Leningrad. Leningrad. Let's find out if that is a coastal city. Yes, it is. That's one. Four to go, Elliot. Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. Let's find out. That's another one. Three to go. New Orleans. New Orleans. Is that coastal? Of course it is. Two more to go, Elliot. You're doing great. Cairo. Cairo. Let's find out if Cairo is coastal. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It is not. That means Deborah. We go to you. All I need is one correct answer, and you will win the board. Okay, I'll try Helsinki. Let's see if Helsinki is coastal. Yes, it is, and you got it. You got the first board. Congratulations. You won another. Let's look at the other correct answers. They're Tel Aviv, Dublin, Sydney, and Bombay are the other coastal cities. And uh, we're coming back after these words for the conclusion of the challenge round, so stay with us. We'll be right back. return to Wipeout and Peter Tomarkin. Uh, we're back with the challenge round and the exciting conclusion to determine who is going to get the trip to Colorado as well as a chance to go to the bonus round. We have Deborah with one. Elliot has nothing as of now, but we're going to play a new game and you're up this time, Elliot. Let's look at our board. Eight of these soap operas have been on the air for more than 10 years. Which eight? Eight have been on for more than 10 years. Which eight? Eight of these. All right, you got that. Elliot, how many do you think you can get right without Five. wiping out? Five. All right. Deborah, to you. You want to go higher or call him? I'm, I'm going to let him take that. You're going to let Elliot... Take five. All right, Elliot, if you get me five in a row this time, you'll tie the game. If not, Deborah gets to jump in again. I don't think you want that to happen. So, Elliot, give them all to me five. There are eight correct. Just give me five of them. General Hospital. General Hospital. Let's find out. Yes, there's one. All right, Elliot. You got four Young more to go. Young and the Restless. Young and the Restless. Let's take a look. That's two. Three to go. Another world. Another world. Let's find out. You got it so far. Only two more, Elliot. As the world turns. Let's find out as the world turns. All right, Elliot. Give me one more, and you will tie up this game. All my children. All my children. Let's take a shot. Yeah! All right, Elliot, you did it. Tied it up one to one. Well done. Let's take a look at the other correct answers. Well, the other correct answers were, all of them were General Hospital, obviously, Days of Our Lives, The Young and the Restless, Another World, All My Children, The Edge of Night, The Guiding Light, As the World Turns. I love them all. All right. You know what that means? We have a tie, which means we have to go to another game to find out who's going to go to the bonus round. Deborah, you're up. Let's take a look at the game board. In this list of 12 states, let's see if you can pick out the eight in which presidents were born. Give me the eight in which presidents were born. Deborah, how many can you get right out of eight? Without wiping? Four. Four. Start with four. Over to Elliot. You're going to increase the bid or call her? Five. Five. Back to Deborah. Increase or call him? No, I'll call him. You're going to call him on five. Well, once again, Elliot, let's see if you can run it again. If you can, you will win the board. You'll win the round. The trip to Colorado will go to the bonus round. Here we go, Elliot. Give me five. There are eight correct. Illinois. Illinois. You got one. Four to go. Michigan. Michigan. 
Yeah, oh, a wipeout. I'm sorry. We're going to go over to Deborah. All you have to do is give me one, Deborah, and you will win the board. You will win the round, the trip to Colorado, and you'll come with me to the bonus round. Give me one, Deborah. Georgia. Let's find out about Georgia. You got it. Georgia's right, and you did it. Three to one. Well done. Let's take a look at the other correct answer Kentucky, Missouri, Virginia, Texas, New York. California. Those are the other correct answers. Well done, Deborah. Elliot, you're leaving us with some nice prizes. So I thank you for being with us. You've been great. Say hello to your grandchildren. And Deborah, step over with me. We're talking a trip to Colorado. Come on over here. And you're going to get a chance to go to the bonus round for a brand new car. We'll be back after these words. Stay with us. Deborah, who's made it all the way to the bonus round. Congratulations. You've got the trip to Colorado. You can always fly there, but wouldn't it be kind of nice to travel the open road in a something nice? Would you like to do that? Check this out, will you? It's the new Chrysler LeBaron Highline Convertible. Featuring power top, power windows, and the new standard safety bag for the driver. Available in nine colors with coordinated interior vinyl from Barish Chrysler Plymouth. Oh, it even looks nice when you dress, huh? <laughs> you can do well with that. Well, we're going to make it relatively easy for you. What we'll do is give you a question, then we're going to put 12 answers up on the board. All you have to do is find the six answers that are correct, and you'll be driving away in that brand new car. Doesn't sound too, too bad, right? Sounds great. Okay. Uh, what we do is give you a category. I'll show you how you do it. Okay. My category would be royalty. And here come my 12 answers. Now, I'm going to want to pick the six answers that I think are correct. I do that by going to the board as quickly as I can and touching the rim around the television. So I touch one, two, three, four, five, six. I come back over here as fast as I can, and I hit the button to see how many I got right. I got two right, so I'm going to want to make some changes. And I'll change anything that I'm not sure of, all right? If I don't think Andrew's right, I may want Elizabeth, but I can't choose Elizabeth until I turn Andrew off. So I'll turn him off, and I'll turn Elizabeth on, as it were. And then I would come back, and then once again, quickly hit this and see if I've improved, and I have. I went to three. I'd keep doing that until I got all six, and then I'd be driving away in the car to Colorado, and you would be very happy. You don't want that, so we're going to give you your own category and we're going to give you 60 seconds within which to do it. All right? Okay. Let's take a look at your answers. Good luck. What's in a name? Well, six of these last names are in the top ten most common names in America. For a brand new convertible, let's see if you can name them. Six of these last names in the top ten most common names in America. You ready? Okay. Okay. Go! Go! is a grand total of $18,387. And Deborah, Deborah said to me she was so excited she's going to name her, her baby after a wipeout. Can we call it a little wipeout? Yes. <laughs> Until next time, this is Peter DeMarco with Deborah saying thanks for being with us. Bye-bye. Come on. Today, a member of our studio audience will receive Ray-Ban Tortuga Sunglasses. Classic styling and distinctive fashion with the look of gold and tortoise shell. Plus Ray-Ban glare-beating lenses from Barsh and Loam. Some of our departing contestants will receive the next generation in salon-style nail lengtheners. Gel Formula Lee Sculptured Nails. Brush on like polish. Gel Formula Lee Sculptured Nails.
And now, fast relief for gas pain. GasX has the strongest, fastest doctor-recommended ingredient. For fast relief, GasX. And Miss Lee, smaller size Lee press-on nails. In teen and preteen fun colors, Miss Lee press-on nails.